now we will deal with the story chapter by chapter since we have only five chapters so it won't be a, a very long uh, story a very long narrative you know coming to the very first chapter of this book it uh, begins with the description of that very day when uh, Santiago Nasser was to be murdered or was murdered and we are told Santiago Nasser he woke up uh, at 5 30 a.m on that morning because it was a day uh, when bishop was going to visit that particular place at that town where Santiago or where this uh, whole novella is set and Santiago woke up early in the morning because most of the inhabitants of this town this place uh, they were waiting for bishop and they all had to go to the dock to have a view of the bishop now uh, it was for that reason that Santiago on that particular day would wake up early in the morning. But as he woke up, he had a mild headache. We are told that he had a mild headache and we are also told that he had a dream. And in the dream, uh, he saw some trees, he saw clouds. And we are also told that on this particular day, Santiago was very happy. As he woke up early in the morning, he went to his mother's uh, house and there he took uh, aspirin tablet because he was feeling headache. And then we are told that he even uh, went uh, to the uh, to his cook, Victoria Guzman. And now there Victoria Guzman tells us that on that particular day there was no rainfall. But there are some people who say that there were clouds, there was rainfall. Uh, but according to Victoria Guzman, there was no rainfall. He says that uh, Santiago came to her house and he had coffee. The coffee was given to him by his daughter. And we are also told here that uh, Santiago uh, Nasser, Nasser's father Ibrahim Nasser uh, had once seduced the daughter of this uh, Victoria Guzman and we are also told that uh, the daughter of Victoria Guzman is aware that Santiago is going to be murdered today. In this very particular chapter we are also told that Santiago Nasser uh, is an Arab, uh, is of an Arab origin, he speaks Arabic, uh, he is slim and he is pale, his father had died three years ago, now after the death of his father he gave up his education uh, and then he became the head of the family but eventually he grew rich, he became wealthy and he was a well-off person. Now most of the people in this uh, town are aware that Santiago is going to be murdered but nobody really knows the reason of his murder and we are also told that the clothes that Santiago is wearing in this particular morning uh, were the same clothes which he wore the last evening when the marriage of Ang Angela Vicario took place with Bayardo Sam Ruman. Now that was the first chapter of this book. Now uh, कुछ चीजें जो यहां पे याद रखने की हैं वो ये है कि यहां पे पहले इस चैप्टर में जो गैब्रिलिया गैब्रिल मार्कुस हमें बताता है वो बहुत ज्यादा डिटेल नहीं बताता है ये वो दिन है जब सेंटियागो का कत्ल होता है और उस दिन सेंटियागो क्या-क्या करता है ये हमको बोला जाता है वो सुबह 5 बजे उठता है उसके सर में दर्द होता है उसने ख्वाब देखा होता है ख्वाब में कुछ दरख्त देखे होते हैं कुछ बादल देखे होते हैं फिर वो सुबह उठ के अपनी मां के घर जाता है वहां एस्पिरिन टैबलेट लेता है क्योंकि उसके सर में दर्द है वो वही कपड़े पहने हुए हैं जो उसने लास्ट टाइम शादी में पहने हुए थे फिर वो अपने नौकर के घर जाता है वहां पे कॉफी लेता है उसका नौकर हमें बताता है कि जिस दिन सेंटियागो का मर्डर हुआ उस दिन बारिश नहीं हुई थी कुछ लोग जो है समझते हैं कि बारिश हुई थी सेंटियागो उस दिन सुबह जल्दी इसलिए उठा था कि क्योंकि बिशप उस दिन वहां आ रहा था ये एक बहुत बड़ा दिन था उन गांव वालों के लिए क्योंकि बिशप उस दिन आ रहा था उस दिन बहुत सारी शादियां हुई हुई थी वहां पे और उनकी उनको ब्लेस करने के लिए उनको ब्लेसिंग देने के लिए बिशप आ रहा था फिर हम आते हैं दूसरे चैप्टर